hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel um i currently did do a little bit of my makeup off camera and i just curled my hair off camera i kind of i'm kind of going for like a um certain look so we'll see if i accomplished it when i'm done but y'all i know y'all have heard the song by bia before called um money i think i think it is <laughs> yeah like i'm all like yeah okay but i think that you'll have all heard that song like it's a whole lot of money small folk so i thought i was i literally i woke up and i was like vacuuming the room and all of a sudden it came to me that i could totally do a get ready with me just to go to the bodega so, I don't know what my version of the bodega is going to be because I don't think we have a bodega here where I'm at, but anyways, what is, you know, that you get the point. Um, and I have like a mirror behind the camera, you guys, so I'm sorry if I'm looking back there, but I thought, you know what? This is such a good opportunity to do a YouTube video of me get ready with me just to go to the bodega and i'm not i'm not making this very very long but i'm also i think i'm gonna be showing you guys my outfit what i choose or whatever i don't know we'll see but i was gonna do like a what's in my purse video so i was also trying to figure out like if any of y'all know how do you get like to be able to play music in your videos but without getting copyrighted as fuck first you know that's what i'm trying to figure out and then when i do it'll be fucking amazing so i'm also i just recently if you guys i don't know what should i say I got a job and I'm happy that I got a job at the same time I'm kind of like oh no about it because of the fact that I'm not whoa damn that's harsh because I'm not used to having a job so I don't know honestly i'm gonna be real with you guys i haven't been working in like a good two years so i'm gonna be real with you i have gotten kind of oh should i say it again comfortable i've gotten kind of comfortable just kind of like not having one and i know how horrible that sounds um because i'm a mom so i tend to like i want to stay home with my kid and i know the tradition is usually like well tradition my ass i don't really think this is tradition like i don't know people think it's weird when like the guy stays home and the girl gets to go to like um work but i feel like it could be vice versa because i don't i feel like you know it's just one of those vice versa situations where i think it's up to you you know, I don't think that's anybody else's particular business. Um, you know, to be real with you guys, but I don't know, everybody's different or whatever. But I'm going in with my bronzer right now because I feel like it just looks so patchy and weird. No matter with what brush I put it on with, it still always just looks so weird and patchy and i try and blend it but for some reason it just it just still looks really patchy it almost looks like i have a bruise i don't know yo i start really overthinking my makeup hardcore sometimes but i literally can't help it but i don't know this is also kind of 
crazy because like I don't know I feel like I just I'm stressing out a little bit because I just I want to stay with my baby girl you know I don't want to be going out and be wondering like is she okay like what's going on you know like and I'm not gonna lie like having a partner is hard when you have to go to work because me and my boyfriend kind of have like this I don't know I feel like this is a lot of couples though where they don't like them to work with a lot of people because of the fact that you know I've seen a lot of couples that are happy all of a sudden come out and be like unhappy and like we never had a conversation where we're happy you know with each other we're actually really good I just feel like with everything that we've been through in past relationships we're scared that there's a possibility that could happen again of course like I said this happens to a lot more people than you would think and I just think you guys that I'm gonna be trying a new lash today um I actually got these from a girl on Facebook marketplace and I don't know if she would like I'm sure she wouldn't have a problem with me shouting her out I just want to make sure you know because sometimes people like to have a little bit more of a low-key business so I don't know but I was thinking like I'm gonna show her out because I love these lashes and I just really fucking like love them like and when I really like something that's a rare find because you know I found this like pair of lashes that I really liked hella and then I kind of just stopped wearing them at one point because I just was like mm, I want something new and I don't know why I'm telling you guys this um I have like a lack of brain cells today I feel like um people are like today like sorry I don't know I feel like I also have kind of like a really low self-esteem sometimes and that's on a real note that's not on a bummer note like I'm not trying to bum anybody out today because girl I know that I'm beautiful like I know that I'm totally beautiful and worth it but also there is this part of me that is completely just like at everything that I every time that I even try to do like that I don't know like I feel like it's also stuff that I've actually been through that it's like that trauma response where it's like no you know what I mean like no and so I just kind of I cut back you know what I mean because I'm just like I'm just like that no <laughs> um but for real like I just have that problem sometimes of having a low self-image and I'm like go for a way look at you but then there, like I said there's that you know what I mean but anyways we're working on it um day by day this is my therapy so this is what we're gonna do to help ourselves out a little bit and I've already been filming for nine whole minutes so we're gonna kind of speed this up I'm gonna go ahead and go to my next step smoke with these when I would do this these videos these would be all private on my youtube channel but I'm thinking about like you guys what if i got back into that vibe i'm thinking i'm thinking yes so before i go into set my face i put more blush and i just set my eyes um with a white shadow now i'm gonna go ahead and go in with my brow gel so i don't know like you guys i have been really kind of thinking about um how the next thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna buy a mic and we're gonna go from there so and i want to just want to tell you guys something if you guys are having any relationship issues i'm gonna tell you this right now if you ever have that like i know that if y'all think that like blocking people go somewhere but i want you to think this like is that person worth that like no like i always think like no so i'm not gonna have this whole situation over it or nothing like that like if you guys are having an issue like that i just want you to know like look how like especially if they're a young person like look at that 
like and let yourself think like so why am i tripping if they're so yuck like that's what you need to um realize and i think that once i realized that shit so many of my problems went away because i was like dude like you are you are her okay i'm like nobody else could ever be you because you're the only you out there i think that's just such a special thing to remember that i feel like maybe a lot of people don't really remember a lot and that's fine but it's like dude that should help me out so much just thinking about like um like just why you shouldn't even put your time or space into that energy because it's just so like not worth it and don't like dude we've all been there so it's like right. it's cool like for real like don't even trip like every time i'm every time i'm even like close to that i'm like wait a minute for why though because like it, are they like really you know that great for me to trip no no i can't even fucking go there because that's just so that's why I don't, I just don't even ever go there. And you know what? If your partner can't see that, like, I'm so thankful that mine can. Um, because I was gonna say, because I know, like, mama has some cocky shit, like, on some real shit. I know that a lot of people aren't like that anymore. Like, I know a lot of people don't sit here and really do that for you anymore and what you're like do what be loyal people don't do that shit anymore <laughs> people don't and, and i always wonder like why it's so hard to find somebody who will but when you do you keep that person because you know what i mean you know what i mean like if you know what i mean comment down below don't then like you know, I feel like the other time that you will have that realization. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna get back to you guys after I do my lashes. I'm so sorry for rambling. I feel like, like I said, this is my safe space. So if I'm rambling, it's a good sign. Okay, finally figured out what might be my bodega. I'm again Starbucks. <laughs> y'all, if y'all see my last video. I used to not drink Starbucks, um, just because it, to me it just wasn't, you know, the the hype was not there for me, honestly, and now I'm gonna be like a space button tutorial while I'm at it, so I told you I'll cut my hair off camera a little bit, like, I try to do more of like a wavy look, and I put it down the middle, and so what I'm about to do is just show you guys how I do my cute little space buns look and i know a lot of people do space buns so i wanted to join the community of people who did so hello um <laughs> no for real though they're super cute and i've been wanting to do them for such a long time but i literally have not been able to because i do not know how i'm not gonna lie i don't know how to do space buns and I still kind of don't know. Uh, but I'm going to learn. And y'all are going to learn with me. So I just parted down the, the side. And I got it like this. I don't know why I'm going to leave it like this. Because I, if I put it in a space bun, my hair is naturally curly. So I tried to wave it. So if I put it in a space bun, it will ruin the curl forever. So I'm going to leave this part down. I'm gonna go upward and yeah you're just gonna grab the hair that you want to put in your little hair tie mommy so y'all was just thinking about this story time the other day like I don't know I just thought this was so weird I don't know it just came to me that one time, I think my teacher came to school drunk. 
think I'm gonna say that um, because one time I was in fifth grade and y'all I guess we're gonna do like this I don't know this face looks really cute but like I don't know my hair just never makes it easy for anything to look cute so we're gonna leave it like this but one time this was I'm gonna do my lashes when I talk to you guys but this was in my fifth grade I had this teacher and she basically um was a good you know she was a good teacher or whatever honestly this, there wasn't much to remember for me because um I don't know she wasn't the greatest teacher but she wasn't like horrible either so I'm not sure but I just thought the story time was so funny because it kind of messed up though too because one day I was sitting there and she's on the projector you know those projectors that um they use to like show the kids what they're doing their lessons for the day and you know if they call you up to the projector that's your part you have to you know do something on the projector and well one day she was doing this teaching us a lesson on the projector about a book i believe and she ends up burping and then um I, you know, I didn't say nothing, you know what I mean? No one says anything, it's just whatever, it's human nature. And then she goes, um, oh, I'm sorry, you guys, I promised I wasn't drinking. And at the time, everybody just laughed it off because it was, it was funny. Like, um, and now that I'm thinking about it, I think she really was and just didn't say anything. And this was our first class of the day, like, I would say like eight in the morning and she didn't say anything after that everybody just kind of went about their day but i think that she was because um i had learned later on that her husband had actually passed away during that time and like i think that might have had something to do with it maybe um not positive but i think maybe they were passed away for sure and anyway, that's what happened, and I just felt so bad, like, after knowing, you know, now, but at the time, that shit was so funny, because it was so random, but, you know, now, like I said, I feel pretty funny about that, because, girl, I would be too, like, you know, honestly, maybe not at school, but, you know what I mean, still, like, girl, that's, that was, it's, I, I know that it's probably really rough, and, yeah, I'm pretty sure that it was, or else she wouldn't have been, but, like I said, now I'm thinking about it. Yeah, I think that. I think that she was for sure. But it's whatever. Honestly, people are gonna do what people are gonna do. You know, and you, there's nothing that you can really do to prevent it. That's more on like their part. Um. But if I smoke tonight, I will put a little clip in there. I mean, what do you mean if? Like, I don't know. I just feel so weird posting content of me smoking now. Um, being a mom. But I don't around my daughter at all. I just, you know, that's, you know, if I have, if you know, right before I was asleep and she's in bed type thing, then yeah, like, I don't really see why not, you know what I mean? But everybody's different and everybody has different beliefs and I think that's just one of them that's just kind of like hard. So I decided to take off the lashes because honestly the glue I was using was not holding them long enough. Y'all look, I literally burned a piece off and it looks like baby hairs but it's not. But honestly i'm gonna go to the boutique now and i hope you guys have a good rest of your day this is the top that i chose it is from forever 21 and i did originally wear this for valentine's day so honestly i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys got ready to go to the boutique too or to get ready to stay at home all day or whatever it was because i feel it i feel it in my soul but i just hope that oh I just hope that you guys know um, that you guys are bomb as fuck, you know? And I will see you guys in another video. 
I might be entering my soft girl era. I don't know. Since everyone else is, I was like, fuck, you know what? Should I be? I feel like I should. So, I don't know. I'll let you guys know what the fur one one is. But without further ado, have a lit, dope ass day or night. And I will see you in future videos.